right off the back, I want to apologize for my throat. My voice is all messed up, all gunky, along with my mic quality, getting through some stuff right now. Hello, my name is Night Exorcist, and today I'm going to show you 10-ish things you probably didn't know about Code Bang. Feel free to comment below if you found any of these informative, or just to tell me I'm complete trash. Number one, if you missed out on pre-ordering the game on PS4, you can still get the pre-order DLC for $5. This comes with the God Eater weapon set, the Venus Claw Armor, pre-ordered stickers, and the Bloodkin set. The Bloodkin set includes accessories for your character to customize, a Harbinger Blood Code with a single skill to unlock that can only be described as... <laughs> Right now, you can head over to BondiNamco.com for a chance to win a golden mask. Number two, Vestiges. Vestiges can be used to unlock and expand blood codes, and some blood codes you need to collect and restore in order to unlock completely different blood codes and their abilities. A good example of this is Louis Prometheus, needing you to unlock and repair the Hunter blood code and Vestiges in order to unlock some of the more expensive skills. Vestiges can be found as bright red glowing crystals hidden throughout the game to reward exploring the whole map, but I found a decent amount just smashing every crate I came across. To repair them, you have to go back to Io once you gain access to the home base. Talk to her and select the Restore Vestige icon. Number 3, 4, and 5. I'm combining these three into one because they all revolve around the sprint button. You may have figured out that you can use R1, or if you're on Xbox, right bumper, to sprint but it has a second function of allowing you to use the Code Bane equivalent of Dark Souls 3's weapon arts. Pressing the sprint button while using the light attack lets you use a weapon special attack, which can vary from weapon to weapon, even if they're in the same category. Using the sprint button with a heavy attack while the focus gauge is active will allow you to fling an enemy into the air and perform a drain attack. And holding it down mid-combo with the drain attack button X for PlayStation and the A button for Xbox by default will allow you to use a quick drain attack, similar to God Eater's quick devour attack. Although this attack does drain Icor from the enemy, it doesn't lock you into an invincible animation like the long drain attack does, so be careful with that. You can also hold down the heavy attack button to charge it up and release another special attack. I found that weapons dropped from boss encounters tend to have the coolest special attack. On a side note, you can also use the sprint button to slide down ladders, similar to Dark Souls. To get that weapon, you can go to the missile and teleport to the training room as opposed to using the little training room that's in your home base, which does not allow you to accumulate i for testing out specific spells. It's better for just testing out weapons you just bought. Number 6. You can exchange gift items for points to get rare items, emotes, materials, and some NPCs even sell you their signature weapons. Paying attention to the personalities of the characters and selecting which gifts to give them is important because if you give them something they really, really like, they will give you anywhere between 2 to 5 extra points, as far as I can tell. If they don't care for it much, you will only get a single point in exchange, so choose wisely. Number 7. Some of the weapons give you foreshadowing and lore to help piece together the story, and the blood veils tell you what they are best suited for in their description if you feel overwhelmed by all the numbers. I used a blood veil that increased my resistance to status effects and combined that with Coco's anti-poison skills to go up against the poison butterfly, which made the fight significantly easier. Number 8. You can open the main menu to select the multiplayer option, but right next to it is an icon labeled Metal. You can collect medals by fighting bosses in co-op, either as a host or as a summon helper. Collecting medals will unlock new titles and icons for your revenant, along with whatever cognitive zeal is. It's not labeled as an icon or a title, so it might be an emote or a skill. Also, when you summon a helper, the game will glitch a little while they're coming in, which can lead to not being able to pick up items or open doors, ledge teleporting, you go back and forth. Number 9. You can teleport to areas you've already cleared out to do side quests for NPCs that show up after you complete that area's boss. They reward you with helpful items. This can be a nice change of pace if you feel like taking a break from battling bosses and exploring dangerous areas you haven't been to yet. It adds an incentive to fully explore a map. Bonus 
You can unlock all your skills to be used on all other blood codes by equipping it to your skill bar while killing enemies, essentially turning each blood code into a different loadout. You can switch mid-combat, which helps if you're not doing enough damage. See that thing over there weak to fire, but you're using a Berserker with the skills of Atlas and Assassin? Switch to a loadout you already have equipped with the spells and buffs you need. Don't feel like fighting? Use the Hunter and Assassin skill trees to become sneaky, setting traps for anyone that feels like they can outrun you. Number 10. You can't roll off edges. Apparently they put a baby gate on all ledges that you can die from falling off of. So if you're not sure if a ledge is safe or not, try rolling into it to see if it stops you instead of walking straight off. It's really weird I hadn't noticed this earlier in the game. If you found this informative, leave a comment below. If you want more content, leave a like and I'll stop being lazy. If you hate my guts now, go ahead and subscribe to make it easier to criticize me in the future. And with that, I'll leave you with the footage of people I managed to trick into falling to their doom. My name is Night Exorcist, and I got in here by accident. Good day. Oh no, I won't take long. 